I've just been on a lovely distaff spinning workshop at Berrycroft Hub and I realised that there's some amazing stuff around here. Whitehorse Hill is one of them, so I'm going to see if I can see it. I'm not sure if I can see it from this hill or if I need to go to another hill, but I'm near it anyway. Definitely, probably not wearing the right shoes for this, but actually the train's all right, not too bad. It's like a coastal path down here. It's over there somewhere. Let's go and have a look. Oh, it's such a lovely breeze up here. And there are paths cut through this meadow, like a wildflower meadow. I've seen butterflies and bumblebees and cows. I think that's it anyway. The horse, I'm going to go and see. No walking on the horse. But where is the horse? I think I need to be on the hill opposite to actually see it. We'll see what we can see. Dragon Hill? Just so I don't forget, I'm just going to tell you that when I took the uh, previous picture before the one that says Dragon Hill with a crazy tree, <laughs> I was looking left and there was probably a muntjac or possibly a roe deer with massive antlers running away <laughs> and I didn't even notice it until it was almost gone. That would have been a good picture. Anyway, wow, check out this view. Red kite flying. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go and have a look at it now. There's like a white moth with speckles on. Um, oh, it's so lovely. It's so great for the evening. Yeah, you should really come to Swindon. I just read something that said Dragon Hill is supposed to be the site where St George slayed the dragon. So if you know your English history, um, there you go. How exciting is that? I only just found that out. So I'm hoping that this little sort of barrow place, I think this is Dragon Hill, and that will mean that I'll be able to see the um, white horse from there. Possibly it's so big, you'll love it. That's a pretty good view. Um, that is a horse. <laughs> I'm not sure what part of the horse it is. Um, I think you need to be a bit higher up to be able to see it. I might have to do more research into this for next time. <laughs> The National Trust says that maintenance today is mostly to counter the effects of wind, rain and exposure to grazing animals and visitors' feet. Also to keep the horse looking at its best, fresh chalk is added each year and the grass trimmed from around the edges. While the white horse is put at about 3,000 years old, the castle is a mere 2,500 years old. I didn't even find a castle. During the 18th and 19th centuries, the castle was the site 
of the pastime held every season. I think that's kind of like a festival. <laughs> I've just been editing this and realised one of the signposts says Uffington Castle. So maybe that's something I can visit and maybe you can see the horse better from the castle or something. Um, so the pastimes like this really big festival that they have where they re-chalk the horse and um, yeah do loads of fun things. I think they've been doing it for centuries. Going back to the car park now. Remember that crazy tree? just sheep. I don't know what type of sheep these are but I think they're doing conservation grazing. They must be leaving the wildflowers, that's nice. It's kind of what you expect though. Oh, that one looks like he's had a nice haircut. So are the others. And it was really hot recently, so that'll be nice for them. <laughs> I love listening to that munching sound. <laughs> I love it. 